KJ, really appreciate you taking time out of your afternoon to join me here for this interview. How are you? Hey, man, what's up? I'm doing fine, and thank you for having me. Great. So the reason I invited you on is because I saw some wins from you in the copywriting campus. Could you explain what they were about? Yeah, so uh, basically, like you said, I'm a copywriter, and uh, I have taken over the email list of a few of my clients, and the only reason why I post wins past the $500 mark needed to become an experienced copywriter is to motivate the other members and show them that if I can do it, they can do it too. Um, a lot of them say that they had zero idea about marketing or that English is not their main language. And I come from a similar background. I'm from Greece. And I, I know absolutely nothing about any of this before joining Hustlers University. And um, to add to that, I'm a little older than the average person. I'm 28 and I'm still trying to, I'm still making it happen. Okay, so a few questions. To, how did you acquire your clients? I did um, call the mail outreach. I reached out to them, I identified um, areas they needed help on, and I offered to help them. I made it. Um, I made them an offer that was difficult for them to say no, because it was basically a zero risk policy on their end. And uh, once they saw that what I did worked for their brand and that they were satisfied with what I did for them, we continued working on a long term basis. I'm wondering, do you do copywriting in English or in your native language? I do it in English. And to be honest with you, I'd probably be better at it in English than I would in Greek if I were to ever try and do it in Greek. Okay, completely fair. And what about monthly earnings? Is that something you can talk about? Oh, okay, yeah. So what I can say is I earn about two times what I would working a nine to five in Greece. And I want to, I want you to, I want everybody listening to just realize nine to five, that's 40 hours a week. That's 160 hours a month. During which I would get paid a certain amount and I would have uh, somebody supervising me, micromanaging me, pissing me off, essentially slaving my life away, telling me from this time to this time, I own you, you do whatever I tell you. And guess what? I do not have that. I own a hundred percent of my time. I get to work as much or as little as I want and get compensated accordingly. And I still make a lot more money than I would working a job in my country while working less hours. And you're working in a nine to five. It's only linear, the growth. Whereas here, it can be exponential. You put it into work before. And then at some point, you might only need to put in a few hours a week and you'll be earning, yeah, a lot of money. So what's your experience with that? How much? How many hours have you actually put in since joining? And has that changed since? Um, to be honest with you, I wasn't as efficient with managing my time and energy at the beginning, but that's 100% on, on me, right? So the more I was going, the more... Seriously, I was taking it because I saw that it actually works and that you can go somewhere with it. And um, one mistake that I see a lot of people make is that they join the campus for a month, two months, and then they quit. And everybody needs to know that it's not like you will join and then a bag of money will be thrown at you. You still have to work they will give you all the tools you need, but you still have to apply everything they teach you. You still have to go out there and make it happen. Is it possible? Yes. Is it easy? No, because you still have to put in the time. Exactly. Completely agree. And why did you join the real world? I joined because it was very affordable and it seemed to be credible. Like I said earlier, I, I'm 20, I was 27 at the time I joined. And so unless you're naive or very easily impressionable, 
you can sort of tell what is legit and what is not. So I gave it a thought and it was everything they said it would be. What about it was it that made it legit in your eyes? Did that make sense? Right, right. So from the outside looking in, like I said, it's very affordable at just uh, 49 a month. And uh, as soon as I joined, I realized it was legit because of the structure. Every single skill that you can pick up has a certified, successful, hand-picked professor teaching it. And uh, there are hundreds of modules that are easy to follow. And uh, anybody can learn if they just keep an open mind and uh, put in the time. Okay. And I'd like a bit more in depth on from an outside perspective. So you're just saying you didn't mind spending the $49 to join or was there more to it that really convinced you to join in the first place? Did that make sense? That makes sense. Basically what convinced me to join is I knew at least where I'm from. You cannot go anywhere working a nine to five because you might or might not be familiar with it, but Greece went through a financial crisis starting in 2008. And um, I wasn't really into the idea of relocating. So I knew that I wanted to do something for myself, by myself. I wanted to own my time and I wanted to own my work. And so everybody else besides um, Andrew and Dylan, because uh, I was familiar with Dylan Madden, by the way, before I joined right, ATU2. Everybody else besides those two dudes, just, they were just fishy. They just, you know, it's, you look at something and you tell yourself, I just have to try this. This will work. Again, so a bit more in depth into when you say everyone else seemed fishy. So what was it about the Tates and Dylan Madden that made you resonate with them? The fact that both of them started from zero and not only did they start from zero but they also documented their journey and once you already make it to a certain level you wouldn't you wouldn't even care to scam people anymore you just let it you want to help there is a saying that goes once you make it to the top make sure you drop the ladder back down and make a way to pull everybody else up with you and um, from a from a financial standpoint because for the record, I do not know those dudes personally. From a financial standpoint, that's what they were trying to do. Mm -hmm. Right, I like the answer. And would you have anything to say for what kind of an effect Tate has had on you? Um, again, I do not know him personally. I agree with a lot of what he says when it comes to Take care of yourself, take care of your circle. What's who you let in your circle? Try to be powerful, try to be impactful, build a brotherhood, be healthy, and make money. Those are things that I agree with. Okay. And it's and a very positive message. That part is a very positive message for sure, and it's something that I try to live by. Okay. Uh Again, thank you for your answer. Now going on to how different would you say the material is in the real world compared to what's out there on the internet? So um, the material in the real world is very easy to follow because it's broken down in a lot of modules. And if you just pay attention and take notes, it's guaranteed, guaranteed to take you from point A to point B, point B to point C point C to point D, everything is laid out perfectly. Again, by people who have done what they are teaching you. So you know it's not a bunch of bullshit. And it just, it's essentially a plug and play system. Anybody, anybody can do it. Anybody can follow the instructions. Anybody can ask specific questions and get answers to them and then move on with their craft. So compared to what's out there, I believe the material is great because all of it is in one place. All of it is taught by one person 
who has his own proven method that he tries to pass down to hundreds of thousands of people. Let's instead of let's say going on YouTube or anywhere on the internet, really, you have to find one article from this person, one video from that person, another video from that person, and then you have to kind of piece everything together until you find the winning formula. Right. And did the wins channel have any kind of impact on you? It was definitely proof that it can be done. You just needed to do the necessary steps to get it done. If there is, if there are 10 dudes posting 500, 1,000, 2,000, 300, 2,000, 5,000, it only lets you know that it's possible. And then here comes the question, how did they get there? What can I do to get there? And you just have to follow. Basically, there is a blueprint, but it's, um, it's always good to be authentic and stay true to yourself and be unique whether it is about your approach or how you talk to somebody or how you write your copy, how you behave on a sales call. Yeah, I just say, stay true to yourself. But the wins channel did have an impact on me because like I said, it let me know that it can be done. And now what was the biggest challenge you faced when you were first starting out with copyright? Uh, when I was first starting out, it was just an influx of information. It was a lot to take in because I knew absolutely nothing about it. But once I uh, started taking it step by step, lesson by lesson, module by module, video by video, then everything seemed easier. And it goes without saying that I've gone over the lessons, well, a lot more than once. So... Speaking of which, it doesn't have to relate to the lessons you learned in the copywriting campus. Just overall, with your experience in the real world, what have been the three biggest lessons you've learned in that time? Basically, it was nothing new that I didn't already know, but it was highlighted to me that you need to build a strong team if you want to make it far. That's number one. Number two is if you don't believe in yourself and if you don't do what you're supposed to do, nobody else will do that for you. And the third one is helping the next person doesn't cost you anything. Right. Very concise. I like it. So since you're on this trajectory, making of a double your country's monthly wage, where do you see your life heading, heading in six months to one year? Okay, so a year from now, I will continue putting in the work, looking for ways to improve at what I've been doing, looking for windows of opportunities that I can grab. And uh, in a year from now, I will have a bigger agency than I already do. I will have hired a few more people and hopefully I'll be doing a lot better than I am, making a lot more than two times my country's weight. So that's all my questions for you, KJ. For people who would want to find out more about you or contact you, how could they do so? I've got a website. It's called georgewords.com. That's georgewords.com. And uh, yes, I can. G-E-O-R-G-E-W-O-R-D-S.com. And uh, my personal information is there. Okay. So again, KJ, thank you for your time. Uh, I look forward to doing potentially a follow-up in future, see how things have progressed for you. And until then, I wish you all the best. Thank you for having me, man. Good luck.